We're in another surge, unfortunately, of COVID, and this surge is quite different than, than earlier surges. So with the original COVID variant, um, it was thought to be less infectious than the current Delta variant that is circulating. So there's a number called an r naught, and that is an indication of how infectious um, a, a pathogen is. The earlier r naught with the Alpha variant was two and a half, meaning if I had COVID, I might give it to two and a half people that were unvaccinated. Now the r naught with Delta is considered between five and seven. So five and seven people could potentially get infected from one person. For a brief time, especially with the data that was available with the earlier variants, um, it, was, it was thought that if I was vaccinated that I could remove my mask indoors, that the chances of me getting infected were actually low. However, as time has gone on and the Delta variant is uh, very present here in the US, we have discovered that even if you're vaccinated, you still can get um, COVID in some circumstances. Now your chances of getting very sick or dying, thankfully still are extremely low, but you may still get, get COVID um, if you are around others that have it. Um, so that's why we're recommending at this point that you wear a mask even when you're indoors. Uh, with the earlier wave, it was really our elderly folks um, that we were most concerned with prior to being able to get vaccinated because they were the ones that we were seeing that were being affected by COVID the most. With this wave, um, it's the children that we're most concerned with that cannot themselves get vaccinated um, and are heading back to school. So these are, these are the times that we really want to do everything we can to get vaccinated ourselves so that we reduce the chance that we might give it to others such as, such as the children in our family and our lives.